Hello, dear traders, I'm Kate Nidachina and you are on InstaForex TV channel where you can learn about the latest economic news. The pound sterling was capable to resist the US dollar which has been vigorously gaining ground on Forex. However, today the British pound yielded to the American counterpart and resumed a downward bias. Yesterday evening, Forex traders were impressed by the statement of Bank of England Governor Mark Carney. He confirmed once again that deflation pressure is affecting the UK's economy. However, Mark Carney noted that it does not make sense to struggle with the muted pace of consumer prices growth, as long as commodity prices keep on falling. Yesterday, the Bank of England displayed its confidence that it's uh, holding the economy under control. It convinced the sellers of the British pound to make a pause in trading. At the latest session, the GBP USD pair halted its uh, fall and consolidated to near the level of 1.5070. However, today the trading sentiment changed after the publication of the UK manufacturing production data. The report pushed the British pound 50 pips downwards, close to a five-week low. Let's return to Marconi's speech yesterday. In his statement, the central bank's chief did not mention any risks to the industry. The housing market is the only issue causing concern of the UK top banker. From Carney's viewpoint, only this sector is posing a threat capable to undermine steady economic recovery. Probably due to these comments, traders did not show extreme disappointment at the weak industrial production data, as it could have been expected. Experts of the UK Office for National Statistics recorded a 0.5% decline in the manufacturing output in January. They had expected 0.2% growth. The annual figure sank to 1.9% from 2.6% in December. Analysts predicted the annual print to stay flat in January. It was InstaForex News and me, Kate Nidachina. Have a nice trading day.